Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Holiday Read Aloud series. I'm so excited to start this, so excited for the holidays and all that comes with it. So it's going to be seven books starting on today, December 1st, and then going all the way to the week of Christmas, okay? So today we're going to be reading Bear Stays Up for Christmas, and I'm going to let you know the rest of the books that we're going to be reading if you want to go ahead and get them. We're going to be reading How the Grinch Stole Christmas, one of my favorites, another Dr. Seuss, If I Were St. Nick, and then we have a couple Berenstein Bears books. We have The Berenstein Bears and the Joy of Giving, The Berenstein Bears and the Christmas Angel, and then we have the Littlest Christmas Tree. All right, so let's get started. Join Bear and his friends for the holidays. There he is in his little cave. The day before Christmas, snuggled on his floor, Bear sleeps soundly with a great big snore. Dear Bear, get up, Mouse shouts in his ear. We won't let you sleep through Christmas this year. His friends are all there, gathered in his lair. And the bear wakes up. He stands with a big stretch and a great big sigh. I hope I can make it. I do want to try. Because remember, bears hibernate in winter. Don't worry, squeaks Mouse. Hare says, it's all right. We'll keep you busy all day and all night. He tries to lie down, but his friends all frown. So the bear stays up. Come on, says Badger, time to follow me. In Pine Grove Glen, there's a fine Christmas tree. So they stomp through the woods, they, and they tromp down the track. They hoist up the tree onto Bear's big back. He plods very slow as they trudge through the snow, but Bear stays up. Back at the cave, Gopher brews mint tea and Mole pops corn to string up on the tree. Raven and Wren make a fresh fruit cake. The friends do their best to keep Bear awake. He shoulder, his shoulders start to stoop and his eyelids droop. But Bear stays up. They hang up their stockings by warm firelight and hum Christmas songs like O Holy Night. They cuddle and sing as they wait for the sun. But soon all the voices fade to just one. A bright star glows while his good friends doze. But Bear stays up. Bear giggles and grins. He works and he raps. He bustles and bakes while everyone naps. Who's that? He piles up presents under the tree, but who's in the doorway? Bear doesn't see. He toils all night. That means he's working really hard. Until the sun rises, making his friends their Christmas surprises. Just before dawn, he lets out a yawn, but he still stays up, even though all his friends went to sleep. When Christmas arrives, so lovely and white, 
Bear's friends awake to a glorious sight. Presents and goodies are piled up tall. I stayed up, says Bear, just to share with you all. As his friends shout with glee, Bear lies by the tree, but he still stays up. Wren flies to the stockings and tweets out a cheer. Besides our bear's presence, Santa was here. When all gifts are open, there's one last surprise. Badger shows bear a quilt just his size. Bear snuggles up tight and mutters good night. Then Bear falls asleep. His friends tidy up and slip from the lair. They whisper, sweet dreams, Merry Christmas, dear bear. And there he is. The end. I really hope you enjoyed that sweet story, and I hope you will come back for all the rest of the holiday Christmas stories that are coming. Bye. <laughs>